Hello everyone, welcome. Today we have two wonderful artists and two very good friends. Before me was Taslima from Taslima Maya Art and after me is my other wonderful friend Kim from Kim's Creation. Go back and watch Taz if you didn't see her and wait to see what Kim has in store for us right after my video. Hello everyone, welcome. This is Betty and this is Texture Thursday. I have put together this um, canvas and it is 31 by just a little bit over 12 inches. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our gesso. Uh, I have to protect this piece of wood. It's unfinished. It has no gesso on it. This is the way I make my home gesso. I use 20 ml of chalk, 10 ml of water, 5 ml of Amsterdam white paint. It doesn't have to be Amsterdam and it can even be another color. I use 5 ml of Liquitex pouring medium. This is gloss. It does not need to be gloss. You can even use glue if you want to. Then you mix it up really well. You put it on your substrate and you let it dry completely. The first layer of gesso, I usually like it pretty liquidy as you can see here. So it'll spread easy on the whole uh, canvas. You can also put a second layer if you find it's necessary. Day two, my gesso is dry and we're going to do some texture paste today. So I want my texture paste to be smooth uh, yet uh, hard enough to create texture. I have a lot of Mod Podge, so instead of using glue today, I want to use this up. I'm going to use some joint compound. We are going to use some wood. Uh, dust and I'm gonna put a little bit in it to start so I can see the mixture or the thickness as I put it in chalk about that much Okay, and I'm going to mix this until I get to the consistency that I want. And in this case, I'm looking for what I consider a medium consistency. As you can see, it's thickening up, but not watery. I'm also going to add a little bit of paint. might have to add a little bit more of this uh, wood dust. I think that's what you call it. This is the same wood dust that I got from making this panel. And uh, when I cut the wood, I just put it in a jar. It doesn't go bad. So you can keep it there for a very long time. I decided to add a little bit of plaster of Paris um, just to thicken it up a little bit more. So, I don't have a set recipe. As you can see how fast this is thickening up with the Plaster of Paris. So you can keep that in mind that Plaster of Paris will um, thicken up your mixture. This is more or less the consistency that I'm looking for which is what I want for this creation today. So I'm going to put up the music guy.
this is about 95% dry and I'm just going to uh, remove the sharp edges by just passing my hand over it. It just removes the hard uh, pieces that I don't want on there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another um, mixture of gesso. The gesso will dry up this layer and it acts as a sealer and it's very good for the, for the um, texture. So let me mix that up, add it on, and I'll be back. This is dry and ready for color and I'm super excited. I've given you a few uh, recipes today, not really recipes because I don't measure, but how I do things. And as you can see, it does take a few days, takes several layers. This is how I like to do my texture pieces. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will get to them as soon as I can. Um, enjoy this video be happy be safe and be kind i'll see you again on next uh texture thursday let me put up the music for you take care everyone